Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to our links walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at application startup control because I have received the request from my subscribers that they would like to see application start startup control, um, how we can block certain applications uh, in order um, to have application control for the users. So what we are going to do today is we are going to look at how we can use application startup control in order to block certain applications or in order to block specific category of applications or maybe even blocking certain applications we would be whitelisting couple of them or one of the browsers or anything like that just in order to allow it to run as our official application allowed so if you look over here I have Windows 7 machine where I have Chrome installed and you can see I can just simply run Chrome if I try to run Internet Explorer you can see I can run Internet Explorer also I have Mozilla Thunderbird which I can simply run alright so I can use all these application for now as a normal person if I go to application uh, control part so there are two things which we need to uh, know about first thing is to create an application category so to create an application category you can go over here you can create a new application category and you can say create uh, category content which you need to add manually maybe for example I say blocked application so we'll create um, category for blocked applications I'll say next over here now I need to add a rule to include these applications so I have lots of options I can use from the list of executable files I can use from file properties I can use from metadata uh, from file in the folder files in the folder so I can create a folder which I can direct it to whatever files I'll put it inside I, it will automatically pick up from that folder and create the uh, list of executable files Six sums of files and folder etc etc and we also have KL category available so for now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a category which is from Kaspersky labs so I'm going to just block web browsers not offline browsers news readers RSS reader extensions or extensions just only web browsers and I click on next and then there is a next page where I can go and exclude particular applications we are not going to exclude anything for now we are just going to click next and finish this category creation now the next step the second step is to apply the policy to block this particular category so I'm going to go to properties uh, sorry policies and then from there I'll go to properties of that policy and I'll go to application startup control which is not enabled right now I'll enable this and I'll go and add the application category so if I have multiple application categories I would be able to select any one of them then I have a, cap a capability to write any description um, all right and after that I have capabilities to allow certain users or I can block users I can define a group of users who would be blocked or I can just simply block it for everyone all right I can say everyone okay it will just give me a um, warning that all users except those ex ex uh, explicitly specified will be prohibited from starting applications it's fine of course we know what we are doing I'll say yes and I'll click on okay now either I should wait for this uh, policy to get applied on that or normally what I do is I just deactivate it and activate it again to just make sure that this is forced on that particular machine and just refresh it to just make sure this is forced now if I go back to Windows 7 machine and um, try to run Chrome you see I have this that I cannot run it I can try to run Internet Explorer because that also falls under um, a web browser category I am not allowed I can raise a complaint to administrator and I can say this is not valid action 
uh, I should be allowed to use this application all right um, and then just maybe just to uh, make it stand out of what we have there as logs I would do this all right so now I have sent the complaint I'm not going to send complaint for the other thing so if I go back over here but on the other hand because we have not blocked Mozilla Thunderbird we have only blocked the browsers I am able to use Mozilla Thunderbird over here but now let's go back to application server uh, over Kaspersky server and see what exactly is there um, so my Kaspersky um, endpoint security which is still running like some um, schedule scan for virus um, I'm not interested in this part but I am interested to see the events over here so if you see I, I, I would like to run in the event selection for recent events and I'll run this selection and if you see over here this is the complaint which I have raised and if you see at the bottom that there is a message which I purposefully typed so that I can stand out to just show you and also it shows me that I have been blocked for certain applications on this particular machine now for example you would like to block all internet uh, browsers or any browsers but you would like to allow internet explorer out of it so what you are going to do is you are going to go to exclusions and you are going to just add an application uh, so my preference normally is if I use it from file properties and then I go over here and search for that particular file which I would like to allow and I would just select that it will automatically populate the metadata of this particular file if I want above certain version of Internet Explorers to be allowed not the lower versions because of security reasons or some reasons or maybe up to certain uh, version of application I can change these behaviors from here maybe I can say greater than this should be allowed or maybe less than this should be allowed or equal to this should be allowed and I'll say ok and I'll click apply and ok over here now my blocked application category is updated I don't need to do any more modifications or anything to apply this just I'm doing this activity this active de deactivate and activate to make sure that my policy is pushed to that client uh, easily and it's, it's updated otherwise definitely we need to wait for the synchronization time to happen I'm going to go over here back um, I'll just refresh and I'll try to use Chrome again which you see is not allowed and then I'm going to use Internet Explorer for now it seems the policy is still not applied so let's wait for this policy to get applied or I can do one more thing I can just simply go to devices and I would try to force the synchronization alright so now let's go and check again now you see I am able to start Internet Explorer easily but on the other end Chrome is still not allowed same way if I want I can deactivate or uh, I can just block any particular type of applications I just need to change the condition to add those particular applications so again if I say Kaspersky category and I would say business and I would say office applications then it would not allow me any office applications it would not allow me email applications I can say ok over here and again as I said that we just need to wait for this policy to be updated and pushed across to add more categories over there or to update the category part over there so this is just like a normal way what I prefer to do just to make sure my policy is because it's a test environment of course you would not be doing it in the um, normal scenarios but I'm just doing it to just force this um, category update to be pushed now if I go over here in Thunderbird so I'm not allowed to use Thunderbird also 
Internet Explorer is still allowed because we created the exclusion and if I want to block any particular application I can do it the same way I have explained over here. I would like to thank you once again for watching this walkthrough. Please comment and let me know if you need to know more about it. Um, we can of course customize the content of the um, complaint uh, but that's a separate topic. We can talk about that but um, normally people don't request it. If you feel that you would like to change the content then let me know. I'll try to create a walkthrough to just explain how we can modify this content to reflect something different. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.